Hi, welcome to Reform Tech channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is uh, Route 53 and uh, I will just show you a diagram and I'll sh with that diagram I'll explain you how does it work. Okay, I do not have any uh, domain so I cannot show you a, a complete hands-on but I will try my best to you know, explain you uh, what is the Route 53 is all about. Right? Okay, so yeah, so uh, Route 53, uh, it is a uh, highly scalable and uh, it is a, a D DNS server, DNS meaning domain name system. Okay, so uh, what it can do, what it can do is that it can route end users uh, internet application by uh, translating the names like if you give uh, www dot uh, example dot com or if you give any site for uh, for example let me take the Google itself www dot google dot com if you hit it, uh, it has an IP address behind it. Okay, so every uh, domain, whatever every uh, web address you type in, it has an IP address behind. So we cannot remember all the IP address, right? So we, uh, so what for that we do have a domain name like uh, example.com, like uh, google.com, all right? So which is easy for uh, uh, easy to remember for a human being, okay? So but the machine cannot resolve with this domain name. It should have an IP address. Okay, so DNS comes in this place where it can translate the domain name to the IP address so that browsers can load uh, the internet resources. Okay, yeah. So and uh, why AWS named it as Route 53 is because uh, you know uh, it refers to the port 53, uh, which handles the DNS for uh, both the TCP and UDP requests. And the route, of course, the name itself says that it's going to, uh, it's, it's some routing policy, right? So it routes the traffic, okay? All right, so this is a brief about Route 53. And in Route 53, you have uh, common records like this, okay? You have A, you have quadruple A, you have C name, you have alias, okay? So what the A record does is that it converts or it translates a URL to an IPv4 address, okay, that is nothing but the domain name to an IPv4 address, and the quadruple A also does the same, but for the IPv6 address, okay. So then we have a C name. A C name is nothing but URL to URL. Uh, it which translates an URL to another URL, and you have an alias also, uh, which uh, translates an URL to uh, the AWS resource. All right. Okay. So uh, let's go to the next slide, and this is the next slide. So this is how the internet traffic is being routed. Okay, this is a, a, a quick diagram I could show you. I got this from web. Uh, so this is how an uh, internet traffic is routed. Let me go through uh, each and every step so that it'd be easy for you to understand. All right, so uh, this is the end user. Uh, take, uh, this is a customer, or this is us. Okay, so we have our own system. So we have a laptop wherein we are going to open the web and we are going to hit uh, www.example.com okay the first thing what happens is that it when you hit www.example.com it goes to the dns resolver okay so dns resolver is your uh, internet service provider such as you know the cable network or the broadband provider or a corporate network okay and uh, what this dns resolver does is that it forwards your request to the uh, dns root name server Okay, so uh, the DNS, uh, it, it forwards your, uh, the ISP or uh, whatever your internet service provider, they uh, forward the request to the uh, DNS root name server. Okay, so this DNS root name server says that to uh, go reach out to the name server, the TLD. TLD is nothing but the top level domain. Okay, so uh, it comes back to DNS resolve again. So this uh, request again from DNS resolver, it sends to the name server for .com TLD. Okay, so uh, what happens is that when it sends it to the TLD uh, server, uh, it sends a request back with four Route 53, Route 53 name server. Okay, so when you create a Route 53 in uh, AWS, you get four domains. Okay, so uh, it will uh, give you those four Route 53 name servers and it will send it to the DNS resolver. So it caches these four Route 53 name servers in the DNS resolver. So next time when you hit www.example.com, it don't it doesn't go to the third or fourth step, and it gets from the DNS resolver itself, and it uh, gives you this uh, IP address. Okay. So uh, now let's jump back to the old situation. So this is the first time you are going. Uh, so it comes back from the Route 53 name server, and it stores in the DNS resolver and what it does is it goes to the uh, route 53 name server 
the it translates it to the route 53 name server and this route 53 name server will look for the record uh, in the hosted zone for example like example.com and it gets the associated value such as the IP address uh, like 192.0.2.44 and it gives you to the uh, it gives to the DNS resolver and again this DNS resolver here caches this IP address okay so the next time you hit that you get the IP address from the DNS resolver itself and it doesn't follow all these steps okay so now you have this IP address so we it converted the domain uh, name uh, the DNS uh, to the IP address and it is now it is there in the resolver so this resolver will tell you that uh, so and so is your uh, web server okay uh, you have to reach the IP address so and so and uh, only then you you can view the web page and this end user what it does is it routes it goes to this specific web server okay so this is the example.com web server and which is tagged to the IP address 192.0.2.44 so it goes to this web server and it fetches this web page and it gives you the web page okay so this is uh, the thing what happens you know whenever you hit any domain this is the process behind which uh, happens okay so it doesn't you know when, whenever you hit uh, www.google.com it fetches you a result very quickly but behind the scenes this is what is happening all right so uh, this is a brief about route 53 that i can give you and uh, so we do not have any i do not have any domains as of now but uh, yeah i will try to take some domain and also i will explain you brief about that in uh, coming videos right thanks for watching this video we'll see you in the next video